John Kasich has trailed in the race for the GOP presidential nomination, but the Ohio governor is pushing for a second place finish in New Hampshire and has now received an endorsement from the Boston Globe. We're joined by Ellen Wersbicki, an opinion writer at the Boston Globe. Thanks for joining us. So tell us what Thank you for having me. Yeah, tell us what went into this decision. What why did you decide to endorse John Kasich? Well, our process started a few months ago when we uh, invited all the candidates in both parties uh, to interviews here at the Globe. And we talked to them each for about an hour. Um, and then a number of our editorial board members went up to New Hampshire to, uh, to go to campaign events, um, spend more time with the candidates. And then after seeing everyone, we, uh, we had a get together and uh, actually several long meetings and uh, hashed out our endorsement and uh, published it this morning. You know, one of the things that is written here in the uh, Globe piece is that Kasich has a reputation as someone who can occasionally get brusque and tetchy when criticized or questioned. So could that be a liability for him? Well, sure. Uh, I mean, one thing we confronted in this endorsement process is that none of the candidates are, are perfect, um, but we're trying to look at the whole package and trying to find a candidate who we think is, is really has the best chance uh, of doing a good job if they are elected. And in the case of the Republicans, we um, we felt Kasich was the was the one uh, who, who, despite his shortcomings, was probably best suited for the position. But do you think he has a, a good shot at actually becoming the nominee? Well, <laughs> I guess we'll find out in a week or two. Uh, you know, I I think so. Um, I think that what's happening right now in New Hampshire is there are obviously a lot of voters who are going to back Donald Trump. Um, but there's also a lot who are still trying to figure out who they're going to vote for, and they're looking to coalesce behind one of the other candidates. So I think you're seeing uh, supporters of um, Chris Christie and Jeb Bush uh, taking a second look at some of the other candidates and deciding whether or not they may want to um, uh, rally around one of the more, for lack of a better word, mainstream candidates. Alan, I'm wondering what you think his effect has been, the governor's effect has been, on the overall tone, for instance, of the debates. Uh, in the piece, you write about some of his positions and his approach to issues being quite different, of course, than the frontrunner, Donald Trump. What effect do you think he's had on the tone and tenor of the political discussion on the GOP side? Yeah, well, this was something that we mentioned in our endorsement because we felt it was important. He was one of the first Republican candidates who uh, was really taking a more realistic tone and, um, and, and for that matter, also calling out Donald Trump on some of the more um, extreme things that he said. Uh, so we feel like he's been a good, a good voice in the debate. He's been a moderating voice within the Republican Party, at least in this, uh, in this election cycle. And so he's, he's been a very positive voice. But this is a candidate, as you said, um, is considered part of the mainstream. Um, mm -hmm. And we've seen how Americans are really, they seem to be going for somebody that is anti-establishment. So does he have a shot past New Hampshire if he doesn't win in Iowa or New Hampshire? That's a good question. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm actually, I, I don't know what the polling looks like right now in South Carolina. Um, but I would imagine that if he's able to come out of New Hampshire with a boost, things will look different the day after. And it's possible. Uh, the race seems very unsettled right now among the two thirds of voters who aren't voting for Donald Trump. So I, I think uh, it's a little too soon to know whether he's really got much of a chance, but it certainly seems possible. All right, we will all be watching. Alan Wersbicki, thank you so much. Thank you.